Movember, and we're finding out it's not just for men anymore, apparently. The list, Mitch Weber joins us now to explain that one. Yeah, so many times you think it's all about the dudes growing uh, a little bit of scruff, uh -huh. but actually there's a club here in the Kansas City area dedicated to facial hair, and it's not just men signing up. At number two, could no shave November last longer than 30 days? I think once people grow it for the month, they're like, hey, this ain't too bad. Members of the Kansas City Beard and Mustache Club have seen more and more mutton chops, handlebars, and even chin curtains. There's a lot of great beards in Kansas City. And it's not just for men anymore. The club has women and kid members, and they get creative and even compete in the annual competition in the fake facial hair category. Usually one of the most popular categories. So ladies, don't feel left out. Two bearded brothers are at number three. Sam and Dan Billen don't want Kansas City to lose that loving feeling we all felt during the Royals winning streak. Kansas City is still just a magical place. This royally happy almost looked a lot different. We were expecting them to win. We had a complete video made and the lyrics of the song were talking about how we are the world champions. Most of the lyrics though stayed the same. It was weird because we wrote that before, but it ended up making so much more sense after we ended up losing. Watch the full video at listtv.com. And they also have videos. You can head over to our website for that. Now, tonight on the show, our top three trending stories around Kansas City, including restoring an old car dealership into a new movie theater. Also, we'll see how Missouri and Kansas stack up in a new survey on high on heel height. Plus, we go behind the scenes of the national TV show, Ask This Old House, which stopped in Kansas City to help a couple of homeowners. We'll tell you what they got fixed for free. Again, it's the list tonight <laughs> at 630. Right this here Old House, an old show. It's been on for 100 years, hasn't right. it? And Ask This Old House is kind of the spinoff, <laughs> ah, okay. sort of. So you have This Old House and then Ask This Old House. So. A new twist on it. A gotcha. new twist. Thanks, Mitch. We'll take a look. Another sign of the approaching Christmas season.